dream. Dream big. Dream every day. Why should kids dream? Better yet, why should people dream? People should dream because dreams give us hope for the future. And if we have no hope, we might as well sit in the living room and watch TV for the rest of our lives. My dream is to become an astronaut. I made this decision around the middle of third grade. I had a call with an astronaut, and it was one of the best days of my life. I called her on March 8, 2022. I learned a lot of things from JAWS, as they call her at NASA. I asked her how many more years until she goes into space. She said about two more years, and she had already been training for two years. She also had a lot of advice for middle and high school students. Don't be afraid to fail, and do not black out your dreams. She said, she was so kind and generous, I never wanted the call to end after I started. But I know, if I have a question, my dad has her number. Did you know, over the last year, 12,000 people applied, but NASA only picked 10 candidates for the 2021 astronaut class? The basic qualifications to apply are to be a U.S. citizen, to be between the ages of 30 and 55, to have a master's degree in STEM fields such as mathematics or engineering, to have at least two years of professional experience in STEM field, or 1,000 hours pilot and command time on jet aircraft, pass the NASA long duration flight astronaut physical. Most astronauts train for years. It will probably take you two to five years to complete your training so you are eligible for liftoff. One of the hardest parts of training for some astronauts is the astronaut suit. More specifically, walking in it. It may seem easy, but no, it is really hard. How astronauts train with it is, in Houston, Texas, astronauts put on spacesuits with weights in them and walk underwater. I know my dreams are my dreams. And not everyone has the dream of becoming an astronaut one day. However, I know a lot of kids have dreams. And this is what I would say to them when thinking about following their own dreams. One, what do you want to be? This is an important question because if you start out with the wrong idea, it will be hard to recover from that. But also realize that ideas do change. That's okay. Two, don't be afraid to hit some bumps in the road. If you are afraid, then you might leave your dream behind. But also, fear is difficult, but it is necessary in order to achieve your dreams. Three, and don't hold back. Keep going forward. Sometimes it's hard to move forward, there will be many times you are unsure, but keep going and you might get there. For all those kids listening to this, follow your dreams or you might regret it in the near future. Regret is such a short word, but yet it stretches on forever, said by Renata Zizuski. Grown up. If I asked you, are you doing what you dreamt or doing what you are dreaming of doing, would you say yes or would you hesitate? I have a question. What dream did you leave behind, grown-ups? Did you even leave it behind? Maybe you never found a dream in the first place, but 
if you realize that you are not happy, you know you haven't found the, the right one yet. If you left the dream behind, I want you to think about why you left it. Were you fearful? Was it not important to someone else? Did you get too busy? Did you hit a jump up in the road? Or did you just become too lazy? Think about it.